I hope you're doing well today. I've got a fun video for us. We're going to do a product review and we're going to do a giveaway of a cool banjo armrest. All right. This is the Banjo Mate Thin Line Banjo Armrest. I think it's 70 bucks and you may have to pay something for shipping, but we're going to be giving one of these away and I'll talk about that in a minute. But I don't know if you can see in the background or not, but over here I have my little bassy and my little banjoey and my ampy okay so this is called the boss rc1 looper station now uh these are really cool okay so basically the premise behind it is you play through your chord progression okay so let's say i'm gonna lay down a bass track or a guitar track and i'm gonna play through my chord progression one time through right and it's gonna loop when I tell it to by stomping on this right here, it's going to loop that so that when I hit it, it'll start and it'll just play through that loop. Now, you got to really play around with this and you got to really get your timing exact here or the loop will be messed up. Okay. I'm sure that makes sense to you. Uh, but you'll see when I start working with it here and I'm not a pro at this. I've just started messing around with this, but it's fun okay I'll have the link below if you're interested in looking at these they're on Amazon I can't remember how much it costs but I'll put it down here somewhere but um this takes a battery uh, a 9 volt battery or you can um, get an adapter to plug it into a wall so what I plan to do here is I plan to put down a bass track to a metronome so that I'm accurate okay and then I'll lay a guitar track over the top of that. And then I will get out the banjo and we will explore around, play around in it. Okay. And, um, this is, this is like playing along to one of my backing tracks, except this loop thing is awesome because I could take this out with me somewhere to perform and I could have my loops in here. All right. I could have a loop for five or six different instruments. I think it takes, wow, I hate to be wrong and tell you it, it holds a lot of loops. Okay. So, and you can individually turn them on and off too. Um, I'll put some info down here about it, but you, I don't do more than about three. I do a bass, I do a guitar and I play banjo over top of it. But, um, you can do a lot with these and if you want to create your own backing tracks that you play along to and things like that this is a cool way of doing it now I have another way of doing it too that I'll talk about in another review vi video and that's the way I'm currently using to make my backing tracks because there's there's no amp involved and it goes straight into my iPad that way you know the sound is gonna be great there's not gonna be birds chirping and you know dogs barking everywhere but Let's get into this, y'all. This is going to be fun, and let's do this giveaway. you got to watch the video to see how to win. All right. I've got something really exciting to remind you about, okay? I'm doing an interview with Tom Neckville of Neckville Musical Products. I know. Wow, right? <laughs> um, yeah, that's going to air this Friday night at 9 p.m. Eastern, okay? So be sure to check that out. I'm going to do... We had an hour long interview. So what I've done is I've done like a highlight reel. Um, that's going to be a lot shorter and it's just going to kind of give you the, the highlights. And then on Saturday, I'm going to release the full hour long interview and I hope you'll watch it because it was a blast and we will be doing more of those. So, uh, yeah, just hang on for the fun. Okay. All right. So in order to set this looper up, I need two cords, one that goes into the amp and one that goes into my instrument. And where they meet together is going to go in here, into the looper, all right? And, um, okay, so first thing I do, first thing I do to hook this up is I go into my output A, right? And that's going to go from the looper station into the amp, okay? And then that automatically turns on my loop station. And the level here is just the volume level. This is going to go into the input A. And that is going to go 
into my instrument. Okay, so let me get the get it on. I already have. I already have a, something loaded. <laughs> I forgot that was in here. You'll see the progress of the loop. See how those lights are going around? And it's about to uh, get back around to the beginning. See how the loop started over there? All right. So what I'm going to do here first is I'm just going to play the banjo along to the loop that I already have. And then I'll show you how to make a loop using the bass. What I'm going to do here is I have a just a little um, slow bass line and just guitar strumming over some G, C, and D chord progression, our one, four, five. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do is just noodle around in my chords on the banjo while that's playing. show you how to make a loop because that is the cool part about this thing um, it is fun to play along to of course that was a little slow um, I have a hard time going that slow but uh, let me I'm gonna show you the looper pedal and get my bass and get rolling on that now one layer of looping. Um, that right there would be the second layer when it turns red and green. So let me get another instrument. All right, let's see if we can get a loop in here. We'll talk about this Dean Markley acoustic guitar pickup at another date, but...
Hey everybody, okay, about the armrest. Um, first, let me tell you a bit about how it came to be in my hands. Um, I'm not sponsored or anything by anybody, um, but in a way I am because I have a subscriber who has collected a whole bunch of things for Banjo and uh, sent them to me uh, to do with however I please. So what I'm gonna do is give this stuff away, y'all. So how awesome is that? Let's give a big hand, and why don't you slap that like button for the person who was generous enough to do this and wants to spread the banjo love, okay? Um, so this is a Banjo Mate Thin Line Banjo Armrest. It's in curly black walnut, and it is for an 11 inch pot. So if you have a 12 inch pot, there is no need in you um, applying for this because it's not going to fit your banjo, okay? Um, so this is what it looks like here. And it's thin, hence the name Thin Line. And it's got your hardware to attach and your instructions inside. So uh, if you'd like to win this for your banjo, here's what you need to do, okay? Uh, first, of course, you get, you have to like this video. You have to be subscribed to the channel. Okay? You have to do those things. Then you have to leave a comment down below. Alright? Um, that's all you have to do. I'm going to randomly select a winner uh, on April the 20th. Okay? So, I'll do... Um, I'll do a little blurb on a video announcing the winner where I do that YouTube picker thing that I've been doing. And um, I'll give I'll announce my next giveaway on that same day, okay, on April the 20th. So again, what do you need to do? First of all, you have to live in the United States. I'm sorry, I can't ship overseas. You have to be over 18 in order to win also, okay? And you just need to like, comment, and subscribe, all right? I ask also, you don't have to do this, I realize some people have no way to do this, but I appreciate if you'd share this video so a bunch of people can see it and maybe enter, okay? Um, yeah, let's give away something cool. Thank you again to my banjo angel out there. Okay, now I've got my guitar part in there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around and improvise on my banjo. And let's just hear what that sounds like, all right? Here we go. that review of the boss looper pedal um it's pretty neat I, i've never it's hard to use a looper pedal if you've never used one before because you just don't understand how it works um i'm not one for really reading manuals as much which is probably a bad thing but what i did to learn how to use this quickly um is i just watched a video on it and um that helped me learn how to use it so I'm not perfect at it, of course. I, I just started using it and playing around with it, but it's a lot of fun. And uh, I can see a lot of growth and progress in your musicianship if you use one of these. Um, plus, it's just a blast, right? I mean, that was fun. Uh, so, I hope you're going to enter the giveaway and share the video. Remember, what you need to do is you need to like, subscribe, comment and you don't have to share but that would be nice um yeah let's give it away 20th of april okay until next time 
I want to remind you that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye, y'all.